Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a, another recipe tutorial, um, something that's recently come something of a favorite of mine that I love to eat. Typically when Haley and I travel, whether it's tropical or not, we try to find Asahi bowls, a place that does Asahi bowls really well. And when we were in Hawaii, we had fantastic ones, like we ate them every day. And then when we were in Santorini, we had one every day as well from a place that was close by. And if you guys don't know what Asahi is, Asahi, Asahi is this really good, nutritious, um, has tons of nutrients in it. It's this berry. And lucky for us, we have products now that we are able to get it from and make Asahi bowls at home. So today that's what I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to make an Asahi bowl. Um, an Asahi bowl, you can really customize to make it your own. So whatever you want on there, you can make it what, however you want it. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the base of it and then what you're gonna need for it and then some of the stuff you can put on top of it and I'll show you my bowl and what mine looks like. How's that sound? So I'm gonna take you guys through the ingredients real quick. So you will need a high power blender. I have a Ninja blender um, and it's really good. It gets it taken care of everything really quickly. So I love to use it and it's super helpful with this because there's a lot of frozen goods with this. Um, so the first thing you are going to need and the most important is the Asahi pack itself. So I have two different kinds. I have, this is the original, um, and the company is Sambazin. And then, so this is the original, and then this is the pure unsweetened. Whatever you get is great, and it will tell you the instructions on the back um, of what you'll need to do and everything like that, but definitely need these. There's also a powder. I didn't use the powder, I just used the frozen because um, it's super easy because a lot of the other ingredients you have to put in the blender are are frozen as well so I just got those some of the other things that you'll need um, some frozen blueberries and then some frozen strawberries um, you can just get the medley and that would be okay as well um, but I just got these individually and then you will also need a frozen banana. That's something you might want to put in the freezer the day before or just have them stocked in your freezer ready to go. I just wrapped it in saran wrap and put it in the freezer and it's good to go. Um, now, so a lot of things you'll need to put in the blender um, is a type of juice. I just got apple juice. This is the kind when I was doing research that a lot of people used. So I got apple juice um, to put in there and you don't need a lot of it, but I got a bigger thing of it so I could make multiple asahi bowls. Um, the other thing is just some regular Greek yogurt, vanilla. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, nothing flavored, but I just got some of this and it makes it a little bit more, um, it doesn't make it chunky, it doesn't make it smooth, it's that perfect in the middle. Now, you can really top your asahi bowl with whatever you want. Um, I like fruit, I like granola, and I like some chocolate in there as well. So I got the Nature's Path original. I got honey almond. Um, you can also get vanilla almond, um, but I like that little honey kick to it. And a lot of people will actually put honey on top of their bowls. Worth trying, I just didn't have any honey at home. Um, and I said I put chocolate. I did my Lily's dark chocolate chips. These are actually also keto friendly um, and they're little mini chocolate chips and they're super. Um, and then I also top it with bananas as well and then some strawberries. You don't need a whole lot of banana and you don't need, the, I used one strawberry. So, with that being said, now that we have everything, I'm gonna tell you guys how to make this. So, the first thing you're gonna need to do is get your high-powered blender out and go ahead and plug that in and just get it ready to go. Um, the second thing you're gonna need to do is get your Asahi mix out. Um, just get one of your packets and run it underneath the, some warm water for one or two minutes and you can feel it getting softened up. Now what I did was I took it out of the packet and then I cut it up into five parts just so it wasn't as bunched up and I could easily blend it. After that I put in the frozen blueberries and strawberries. 
Um, that's a half a cup of each. And then I put in the frozen banana. And after that, I then put in a half a cup of apple juice. And then I put in a fourth a cup of yogurt. Once that is all in there, you blend that until it is smooth and ready to go. Um, you'll kind of be able to see it in your blender um, of everything getting mixed together. And you can, if you want to, you can stop and open the lid up and just look in. Um, after that, you're just going to pour it straight into a bowl. If you have a high power blender and it's like the Ninja, you'll know it has the sharper knives in the middle so you got to take that out just to be able to get it out of there easier once you've got that you can top your bowl with as much or as little as you want um like i said i did bananas i start from the outside and go all the way to the other side so i like to put bananas on the outside all my fruit on the outside so i did bananas and then i put my granola and then my chocolate chips and my strawberries um so it's super delicious um some other things you can put on there honey seeds nuts um, some people put Nutella, um, chocolate, um, flakes. You can also do coconut. Um, you can do raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, whatever kind of fruit you want to put on there. Mango, apples, pineapple. I've seen it all on there and it's all so, so delicious. Um, and I would really, really recommend just doing a tablespoon of honey right on top. And it's delicious. It ties everything together and it is so good. So in the end, y'all, this is what my bowl looks like. It's super delicious. I can't wait to dive right in, into this because it looks so good. So, so good. Now there are, of course, some other different variations you can do, um, but there are a ton of other recipes out there for different smoothie bowls, asahi bowls that you can make. Um, so I would definitely go check those out. But I am going to leave this recipe link down below in this description and also in the blog post this will be in um, because you guys, this is a super easy thing to make and it's super healthy as well. It has a ton of nutrients in it um, and you can't go wrong with it. It's super filling. So. Blue, blue, blue. So you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you wanna see more recipes and other things like that for me, please let me know. Um, but go get, make yourself an Asahi bowl and enjoy a nice summer day. I will see you guys back here next time. Bye y'all.